Hey guys, I'm Anthony Bresnigan with Entertainment oh. Weekly. We're here at Comic Con 2017. It's 2017, right? Or 2045 in Pow! the world wow. of Ready Player One. Yeah. Coming out next March, but you guys showed your first trailer here today. Ernest Klein, author of the book. So tell us uh, the best 80s pop culture reference that you think is in the uh, in this new teaser we just saw. Oh man, well I'm a huge Back to the Future fan, so seeing those two hero shots, the DeLorean transforming from hover mode in the midst mm -hmm. of the race, that made me so happy. And then you can spot the Batmobile and Mad Max's car and uh, uh, Kenita's bike from Akira. There's so much, I can't, I, you, There's I too can't, much. Not too it's much. Too much awesome. There's more, more than one. one. Yeah, more sorry. than one. <laughs> you, can't, you can't have just one. No. <laughs> So Ty, you play the lead <laughs> character. Um, he's Wade in our world, but he's Parzival in the, the Oasis, in this digital world. He's searching for the keys to this kingdom, ownership of it, competing against this gentleman, Nolan Sorrento. Mm. Playing the bad I, guy I, I again. compete against this <laughs> Playing the bad guy again. And there's like a theme, the, the score to the trailer is pure imagination from Willy Wonka. So yeah. uh, kind of a classic uh, homage there. Tell us about this kid and what, what's life like for him in the real world versus the oasis. Yeah, I think it, I, mean, I think it's something that a lot of kids go through, and that's why I was. I don't know. I guess the character spoke to me, but yeah, he's really avoiding the, the real world and embracing people within it because he's kind of he's a bit of an outcast. But in this game, it allows you to create your avatar and be whoever you want to be, uh, and so it gets some sense of freedom. And I think, um, yeah. So within that game, he he's he's trying to find this Easter egg, and he's obsessed with the creator of the game. His name is James Halliday, uh, who's played by Mark Rylance, and within the game he leaves behind an easter egg after the creator dies and whoever finds the easter egg will then take over control of the game and inherit mm -hmm. these trillions of dollars so and, and all these millions of people who they, uh, life just sucks in 2045 right this is the only escape for them <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, yep, yeah. it's miserable right not for Nolan Sorrento no, no it's yeah, pretty yeah, but yeah. it's good for him right you know it's, like yeah he I, wants I mean, to I, charge people to get in well, right like, oh, you know I mean I slum it by going into the oasis for these people it's all <laughs> oh this is a great place for me. I don't want to go there I go there when I have to <laughs> <laughs> now but what makes him makes him the villain antagonist of the piece. I know the people who play bad guys never want to say they're bad guys, but come on, he's they're not. This he's is, a troublemaker. That's the yeah, thing. He's like one of the best guys, <laughs> one of the silliest, funniest guys, and then the camera the, rolls and he becomes All the, the kids on set it. were hanging out at his trailer. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. likes the bad guy. Yeah, that's, that's a dirty job someone's got to do. It. Um, but what, why, what was your question? Why does he care? Why is, what makes him heartless? Um, because he wants all that cash, baby. Yeah. He's got to have that money. You gotta have that money, money, money. Because mm -hmm. he, he just agrees. wants to make it rain. Yeah, he, on he him. believes in what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He yeah. believes in what he's doing. Thank right? you. See? There he you does. go. That's oh, the and boy Sorrento thinks, thinks that this is a big waste of time mm -hmm. and that people should grow up and take care of the world's problems. But they just... want to spend all their time going ding, ding, dong, dong, ding, ding. Monetize mm -hmm. it, get them back out in the real world, get these. Young people working. He's really the hero. Yeah, he's really the hero. Yeah, so. yeah, that's why I'm rooting for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rooting so, for him. Do we catch a glimpse of Artemis in this trailer? We did. Yeah, is she riding the the red motorbike. That's the Kenita's bike. Kenita's from Akira. bike from Akira. Yeah. Uh, tell us about her. Um, she, you, you first meet her in the Oasis, and she's a gunter, which is um, an egg hunter, and she's also part of uh, a rebellion against uh, Sorrento mm -hmm. in Iowa. Mm -hmm. And what's life like for her in the real world? Um, well, well, it's not really safe. Yeah. Exactly. So we discovered that. That's one of the things. So I don't know what I mean. Really. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so TJ, you play IROC. I've right. seen like concept art of you. It's you're basically your head on a gigantic muscle bound body with a whole ton of armor. <laughs> so, so actually true to life, right? <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's always been my wish. That's the only reason I agreed to do the movies. I was like, they could just Photoshop my head onto, and that's how up I am on tech. If they could just Photoshop my head onto a giant muscular body, then that's how I'll be remembered. I'm not going to do any other films after this. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be known as giant body, small head man. Because <laughs> regularly my head's too big for even this toddler body. So. No, he's this very intimidating, he's kind of the best, I like to think he's sort of an amusing and funny Boba Fett. He's kind of the best bounty hunter in the Oasis. And Sorrento hires him to basically, he takes contracts out on all these guys. And, uh, but he, you know, he has a real journey in the major motion picture. Thank you, Zach, and thank you, Ernie. 
Um, but it was it was really really fun to sort of play his foil because he is so villainous. Um, but also this guy that spends all of his time just in the oasis, just nonstop, becoming better and better and building up his you know his ego and his avatar. So I see you're dressed in, uh, it's a little bit of cosplay, right? A little bit of E.T. It's cosplay. more than a little. I, uh, <laughs> so you, I mean, you, you bring it up, bring it up. There it is. Oh, yeah. What is Back it? Back to the Future shoes. Back to the Future yeah. shoes. And you got socks, different, oh, oh. Yellow, sorry, sorry, yellow socks, and then... Uh, Elliot sweatshirt. Yeah, Elliot e. sweatshirt. I mean, and it's the, Spielberg. He doesn't like Lincoln, to make references to Show him the Lincoln underwear. Well, no, 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 that's okay. right. I bought, Lincoln, I bought yeah, this that's... online from Daniel Day-Lewis. What's the, uh, what, what's the gold chain, though? Um, this is just, it's like my career, it's just fool's gold. <laughs> <laughs> so who's got the best Steven Spielberg story since he's not here and we can talk all sorts of things? DJ does. Uh, DJ does. Cool. Yeah. Tell this us. is his last movie. He, he doesn't care. He is. <laughs> he's burning the bridges, baby. I don't work in this town again. Uh, the, uh, we, are, we are Cheetos brothers. Steven Spielberg and I are Cheetos brothers. So thank you guys so much for having us. <laughs> what does that mean? No, he, it's he, his was, addiction. Eating, he was eating Cheetos because he had a moment where the things weren't quite, he goes, you know what, this is a Cheetos moment. This is a Cheetos moment. And so people brought him Cheetos and he was eating the Cheetos and I kind of teased him about that. And then later he, he said, Again, get TJ a, a bag of Cheetos also. And we both had Cheetos and we were standing there eating and we weren't talking and he took some of his Cheetos and he put them in my bag. Oh, I, and I just looked at him and he's like, and so I took some Cheetos from my bag and put them in his bag and then he was like, now we're Cheetos brothers. And now you absorbed now some of his power, right? I, I don't think so, way. but I had a very orange fingers. All right. <laughs> That's my secret power. We've got, uh, uh, this is the cast of Ready Player One. The film comes out March 30th in 2018. So a little ways to go, but we got a preview here at Comic-Con 2017. Stay tuned for more here on EW.com. We have more all weekend long.